Hockey YouTubers, it's Platt, and we're getting back into some of the bigger Belgian beer styles. We're going to talk about the Belgian Triple. Uh, let's go over the numbers real quick. SRM is 4 to 7. The IBUs are 20 to 45. The ABD is 7.1 to 10.1. I did say this was a bigger beer, and we're going to serve this beer at 40 to 45 degrees on the lower end of that scale. Uh, probably the best way to start describing this beer, so to kind of compare it to a couple of Belgian styles we talked about earlier. Uh, compared to the Belgian Golden Strong Ale, this beer tends to be a shade darker and carries a little more malt sweetness uh, forward into the beer. Uh, compared to the Belgian Dubel, this is going to be a little higher in alcohol, but a lighter color. Uh, speaking of that color, it ranges from a pale to light amber. Uh, this beer pours clear, even though it is bottle conditioned. Uh, if poured right, you still you should get a uh, clear pour, even though we've talked about it. You can get a slight haze from bottle conditioned beers. Um, like a lot of bottle conditioned beers, this beer is highly carbonated. Um, as far as hops go, you're going to get a low hop aroma and bitterness, or hop aroma and flavor to this beer, but you'll get a medium, medium plus on the bitterness. Uh, also, you're going to get a slight or low-level malt sweetness to this beer, but it's not malty in any way. Um, as far as esters, you're going to get orange, banana, fruity esters as a, as a uh, product of the uh, yeast. Also, the yeast will produce a clove-like phenol flavor to it. Um, Body-wise, we're looking soft to a slight mouth-coating feel to this beer. Even as big as it is, it's not going to be a big mouth coating beer. Um, short to medium finish on this. Uh, food wise we're going to go with something like a roasted turkey and maybe a dessert like a banana creme brulee. Uh, the particular beer we're trying today is Triple Carmelite. Uh, comes in at 8.4 ABV. Uh, despite the kind of look of the bottle this is not a Trappist beer at all. Uh, even though the recipe itself has been around since 1679, so definitely an old school beer. So let's give her a try. Alright, plenty of fast rising bubbles. Got a nice little head on it. Um, looking up in the light, it pours fairly clear. It's not you know, a Coors Light, Bud Light type clear, but fairly clear beer. Um, nice little slight golden, almost like a golden color to it. Let's give her a smell. All right, I get, I definitely get a little banana to it. A little slight, I don't want to say honey, but it kind of reminds me a little meatish, a little bit, in the fact that you. You can almost smell a little extra viscosity and, and sweetness into it. Um, I kind of get the clove a little bit. Um, just a shade hint of malt. Let's give her a try. Oh, that's nice. A little, I get that little malt sweetness in the front punch of the tongue, but there's plenty coating the rest. A little bit of a finish. Um... I'm going to say soft-ish body. It's, uh, there is body to it. There is a, a little viscosity to it, but nothing, nothing huge. Very nice. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to say there's a slight lemon citrus to it, not just orange, but like a little like lemon, uh, citrus to it. Uh, I'm going to say for beer of its ABV, it's quite drinkable, which kind of makes it probably pretty dangerous. Um, I will say I don't know if this is something I would drink summertime. Again, like I said, there's a little more, there's just enough mouthfeel where this is not a summertime, you know, refreshing beer. I mean, it's nice, it's very drinkable, but I, I don't see this summertime beer. I see maybe a late Indian summer type beer, you know, when, when you start getting a little coolness in the evening. Um, very nice beer. This, wow, this is really, 
drinkable. Um, it's just a little bit for your nose, a little bit for your mouth, but it's not, it doesn't dominate your palate in any way. There's not a single thing that really, like I said, you got a little malt sweetness up front. You got a little coating in the mouth. You know, you pick some of the clove, but nothing dominates. It's kind of nice. It's a nice, simple blend of several different things. It's really a nice, drinkable beer. Well, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please subscribe down below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always leave them in the comment section or contact me on the Twitter page. Well, until next time, bottoms up.